Hello, uh, my name is uh, Artem Manachov. Uh, thank you for uh, having me on board. Um, it's a great pleasure for me today. Uh, I'm going to talk about laparoscopic living donor hepatectomy. To be more specific, I want to concern left-sided graft uh, procurement. So uh, 2002, it was a total breakthrough. I remember I was a medical student in Russia and someone told me about this paper and I couldn't believe uh, how it was even possible. Uh, 2006, Ellen Catherine astonished uh, the transplant community by hand assisting a right hepatectomy. Then, in September 2013, in AJT, where simultaneously published uh, works of Dr. Samstein and Professor Troisi, reported their experience in uh, laparoscopic uh, hepatectomy in New England. And uh, uh, the article by Professor Sabran was a final cut for starting a new era in uh, living, living donation. Now we've got a number of centers performing laparoscopic living and donor hepatectomy routinely. And in the beginning of this year, we published the guidelines. From these guidelines, now we know uh, that per laparoscopic um, left-sided grafts procurement to reduce pain, blood loss, uh, transfusion uh, complications in the hospital state. It improves uh, short-term rehabilitation and decreases incidence of valve problems. And uh, LLS even uh, recommended as a new standard practice. Let's uh, take a look at uh, a worldwide snapshot from 2019. Interesting thing, we have a, a lot of right hepatectomies, mainly from uh, Asian centers. We've got enough LLS cases, uh, but we still have a pretty limited amount of uh, lead load cases, only 77. So uh, it doesn't have any geographic predominance like uh, the right load. Uh, well, uh, let's uh, concern this paper. In fact, this is uh, the only study that carried out uh, comparative analysis of a lot left lobe and conventional approach. Just uh, eight uh, laparoscopic cases with a bit higher warm ischemia time with affects um, transaminase peak, but doesn't affect any other. And we see enhanced rehabilitation with shorter hospital stay. And this is our a recent study performed, uh, performing comparative analysis of uh, open and lab LLS after achieving the learning curve. Uh, we revealed a lower operation time, less blood loss, pain, and hospital stay with a clear trend, but actually without significance of decreasing uh, the complications rate. Uh, another point we found is uh, an absence of negative effects on recipient outcomes. So uh, now we decided to compare uh, our entire lab LLS series to lab and open left lobe hepatectomies and additionally compare outcomes within a left lobe group. Uh, this, the, this is, this is uh, the donor's baseline characteristics. Well, uh, the operation time, of course, uh, uh, lab LLS had a shorter operation time, but interesting that within left lobe uh, procedures, time was similar. Uh, with blood loss, uh, lab LLS has won here again, but Look, the uh, lap lobe have a significant advantage over the open procedure. It is interesting that uh, lap LLS had the lowest pain score despite the same cords abridgment and the same surgical trauma, but no. Uh, and uh, late of hospital stay was shorter in both laparoscopic groups than in the open lobe group. Uh, complication didn't uh, differ significantly across uh, the groups and recipient outcomes were appropriate as well in all the groups. 
so uh, left side drafts uh, got a number of benefits for implementation of lab approach. Uh, but why uh, do we rarely use the left lobes uh, for transplantation? Obviously, the LLS is enough for most pediatric patients. At the same time, the left lobe is not enough for most adult patients. But if we use a portal inflow modulation, if, uh, if we use, uh, uh, if we transplant it to, to the recipients, uh, uh, which has a moderate portal hypertension and more, pretty low mild score, we may expect equal to the right lobe outcomes with uh, higher donor safety. Uh, so, uh, in the end, uh, I would like to emphasize that laparoscopic living donor left hepatectomy have already been adopted as a safe and feasible procedure. But we haven't achieved uh, in our center the learning curve for it, for it. We've got a trend of decrease in complication rate and pain and blood loss, uh, but additional data are needed. And if uh, uh, this data uh, will confirm this point, lab LDLH uh, would be proposed as a new standard practice along with lab LDLLS. Thank you for your attention.